The Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk is the third Fiat Chrysler vehicle to have the unhinged supercharged V8 stuffed under its hood, and it's the quiet Hellcat next door. Not literally, of course, have you heard a blown Hemi V8 at full whack? Question mark, but with standard all-wheel drive mitigating the engine's tire-spinning proclivities, plus its under-the-radar looks, the Trackhawk can at least pass for an upstanding citizen. With more traction than any Hellcat yet, the Trackhawk has quite a lot of bulk despite its pork, the engine adds 259 pounds over the already heavy 475 horsepower Grand Cherokee SRT. Nonetheless, Jeep claims it can reach 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. That time is on par with the nearly 1,000 pounds lighter, automatic equipped Dodge Hellcats we've tested. The quickest was the Charger, which reached 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. Per Jeep, the quarter mile is expected to fly by in 11.6 seconds, at 116 miles per hour, and, with no electronic governor, the Trackhawk is said to surrender to atmospheric resistance at 180 miles per hour. Helping this SUV move out in a hurry is Torque Reserve Launch Control feature that briefly holds the supercharger bypass valve closed while cutting spark and fuel to specific cylinders to limit torque before the brake is released. This widget is shared with the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. The supercharged 6.2-liter Hemi V8 is mostly left alone otherwise, right down to its forged pistons, sodium-filled exhaust valves, heavy-duty bearings, and blower pushing as much as 11.6 pounds per square inch. Exhaust routing complications reduce peak torque by a negligible 5 pounds to foot, to 645. To keep the Hellcat from launching the Trackhawk's driveline, Jeep fortifies the 8-speed automatic transmission, fits forged chain sprockets and a wider chain in the transfer case, beefs up the rear drive shaft and half shafts, and tweaks the rear differential. Babylon